Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the simulation of class AV audio amplifier in Altus files. Okay, we will understand how will you design the class AV amplifier in Altus files. What is the diode biasing of class amplifier? Okay, why do we need this diode D1 and D2 here? Okay and what are the advantages of class AV audio amplifier okay so let us first understand the advantages of class AV amplifier right so class AV amplifier is having very good efficiency if you compare it with class A and class V amplifier okay it has high quality output that means it has very low crossover distortion and high linearity similar to the class A amplifier design. So these are the main advantages of class AB amplifier. Okay, now let us go back again in the simulation topic and let us in the so in the class B audio amplifier there is a crossover distortion. That means that your output signal is not the replica of your input signal okay your output signal is not following your input signal right and it has some crossover distortion in your output signal your output signal has some crossover distortion in order to reduce the crossover distortion in class b amplifier we need class ab amplifier okay so in class AB amplifier, once I run the simulation, you will see that you have very less crossover distortion and your output signal is replica of your input signal. Okay. So your output signal is replica of your input signal because of class AB amplifier and in class AB amplifier, we have used this diode D1 and d2 okay you can go and study more in depth what is the use of this diode d1 and d2 and how how these two diode conducts i'm not going to cover in this video now i'll go and run the simulation and i'll show you the different waveform for class ab audio amplifier and maybe you will see here you don't have the class crossover distortion at output okay so in order to run the transient analysis what you need to do is you have to go at edit simulation command and then you have to click on the transient analysis then for this simulation i kept 10 millisecond right then click on ok once you click on ok your transient transient command is set now what you need to do is you have to run the you have to go this run button and directly click on the run okay before that uh, let me tell you this amplifier is working with the supply of 12 volt and here at the input you can see this is the sinusoidal signal with the amplitude of 3 volt and the frequency of 1 kilohertz okay you can see the frequency is 1 kilohertz right so now let me run the simulation so run the simulation maybe and what you can do is you can tile window vertically so that you can see both your circuit and simulation waveform so let me add plot pane so this is your input signal okay so this is your input signal and if you want to see the signal after this capacitor coupling capacitor you can see it looks like starting from 3 volt to it goes to the 9 volt so what is happening here is since your input signal is 3 volt peak value that means it has plus 3 and minus 3 let me click it here so this is your input signal from 0 to 3 volt and minus 3 volt and here what you see is you, 
you can see here your signal is from 6 volt to 9 volt and 6 volt to 3 volt that means your dc biasing for this circuit is at 6 volt so you can see the 12 volt divided by more or less half of the resistance here 10k r1 r2 and so you are getting the voltage here 6 volt and uh, on the 6 volt your your input is signal is being shifted so 3 volt is coming on the upper side of 6 volt so it becomes 9 and the 3 volt is minus 3 volt is coming to the lower side of 6 volt so it becomes 3 right hope you understood guys okay i need not to explain much here now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you here the signal at this point okay so at signal at this point you can see here the peak side amplitude is it's a 8.735 volt and you can see at this side its amplitude is 3.3 now let me click it here this is your input and let me click at the output here directly at the load this is load right so what you can see here, here is your let me do like that and you can see let me zoom it further so guys what you can see here is you don't see the cross over distortion you can see i still see some distortion but you can neglect this you can see at this point at my cursor you can see here so you can see here your output signal is following your input signal your output signal is the replica of your input signal that's what you can see guys there is a no cross over distortion so if you use this kind of circuitry uh, by using diode d1 and d2 you can avoid the crossover distortion and if the if you reduce the crossover distortion you can increase the efficiency of your amplifier right so let me show you the current load current how it looks like it's you can see guys the current here it's around in red it's a 57 milliampere and you can see your current is also replicating your output voltage your output current is replicated replicating your output voltage okay you can see here the current for load current is 57 amps so guys that is how you can design class ab audio amplifier in lt spice right and you can also simulate how uh, uh, the class ab amplifier you can see the different voltage and current waveform at input and output side you can see also the dc biasing point side right uh, if you want to play with this circuit i will upload this circuit in the google drive and i'll share the link in the description so you can get the access of this google drive and you can play with this circuit